Maria Shriver is a woman on a mission, and she brought her fight right here to Charlotte. Yesterday, she was in town to talk all about Alzheimer's and how the disease disproportionately attacks women. So she sat down exclusively with NBC Charlotte defender Michelle Bowden to discuss several topics, including why women need to take charge of their health. Oh, and it was in the middle of the night. Maria Shriver forced to run from her L.A. home earlier this week because of the Getty fire. And they were like, mandatory evacuation, ready, set, go. And I was like, what, what? But I got out. There was almost no time. You realize in those moments you can't take anything. You know, you have whatever, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, so I grabbed my kids' thank you notes, which are in a bag <laughs> next to my bed, and a photo of my family and my dogs. I want to open this up now for questions. She actually came here to Charlotte to lead an important conversation about a cause she cares deeply about. Well, my dad had Alzheimer's. Uh, he died of Alzheimer's. And in that journey with him, I came to realize that women were disproportionately impacted and nobody was talking about it. So she started WHAM, the Women's Alzheimer's Movement. This movement was born really from the ground up to make women armed with information, to make them the CEOs of their own health. The award-winning author and journalist, frequent Today Show host. If it feels good, then it must be. Mind over matter. Former First Lady of California and mother of four is all about female empowerment, empowering other women and herself. What the world needs is more people doing what they love. So I've loved journalism. I love to write. I love to uh, try to push the needle on an issue that people aren't really thinking about. And she admits it's taken a bit to get to the place of contentment she's in now, including weathering a very public divorce and losing her mom, her best friend. I think I uh, struggled to find my footing with her. I struggled after my dad died. I struggled after my marriage ended. And now I feel like, you know, I like who I am. I'm proud of what I've been through and that I'm standing. Not just surviving, but thriving. In Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, NBC Charlotte.